High school nationals is different from any other competition that you go to because it's a, such a big atmosphere and it's nothing like a high school competition. It's like the real deal. Like everyone's there, best of the best. It's a very serious competition. We, we always talk about respecting the skills and never taking advantage of, of you know, just expecting it to hit. And we didn't respect them enough and down came the cheer. We just couldn't believe it was over. Hopefully this year will be a different outcome. No one wants you to win. You have to earn your win. Lori Jolliffe. I'm the uh, cheerleading coach here at Bartow High School. This is my 15th year coaching. Our, our saying here in the community is the home of champions and that is, that is so true whether it be in the classroom, on the competition field or mat or in the community um, because everyone believes that we are raising these kids to be champions and uh, I think our community is pretty good about that. Yeah. This practice is going to be what we make of it, so let's come in here, head strong, let's do this, get it over with. Uh, be confident in your skills, be strong, focus, we can do this. Uh, right now, we're, uh, we're getting pretty pumped up, you know, uh, wrapping things up in the season, things are getting exciting, we're just trying to heat it up so we can go to nationals and win. Seniors, count it out. One, two, three, choose by that. Choose by that. Circle up, lay it down. Today at practice, you're going to see the kids run through all of the elements, um, then, then we'll go full out, and then we'll go back and work through those elements. Um, we're actually going to change a little bit of our formations today. So that's going to probably take up a lot of our practice. With us being three weeks away from nationals, and our state championship is five days before our national championship. Right now it's just cleaning. Everything is cleaning and being very meticulous. So just really fine tuning the details to make sure that that execution score is where it needs to be this season. To be a Bartow cheerleader, it takes discipline and character. You know, do what's right and get the job done. Listen up, all right? I know that today we, we've put in quite a few changes, especially in the cheer leading up to that second portion of music, but there's no doubt in my mind that if any team can do it, it'll be you, okay? All you have to do is go count by count, step by step. Let's go full out, let's get a hit, and let's call it a day. How's that sound? Okay. All right, guys, execute! High school nationals is different from any other competition that you go to because the talent is very high. I don't think anyone can just go. Like, you have to be good enough to go. It's like the real deal. Like, everyone's there, best of the best. College coaches are looking for new kids to put on their team, so it's a very serious competition. Last season, you know, we really wanted to focus on getting those elite skills, so we put in the hand-to-hands. That was the first year that you could have them in the high school uh, routine, so we really worked hard on that to execute those hand-to-hands. Everyone had been telling us all season that we have hand-to-hands, we have it in the bag. We, we had a fall um, in the cheer. Can't fall in the cheer. The cheer is supposed to be something that is easy to follow, 
And we knew, we knew the minute that it happened, it was a disappointment. I think everybody's emotions hit them because when we came off the mat and saw the video and saw all the drops and busted tumbling, it just like showed us that, okay, we hit the hand hands, but we didn't do our jobs. We, we always talk about respecting the skills and never taking advantage of, of, you know, just expecting it to hit and, you know, we didn't respect them enough and down came the cheer and we knew immediately. We just couldn't believe it was over. Hopefully this year will be a different outcome. Okay, wasn't perfect. We had some mistakes. Okay, but after a three-hour practice, we'll take that. Yes. So we now have 25 days until nationals. We are now at the 25-day mark. Yes. Clap it out. Yes. Okay. So from this moment on, that's 25 days that we need to get a little bit better. That we need to walk out of here and have cleaned one more element up change one more element to make it a little bit better, okay? So that way we're even more confident going into nationals. Okay, circle up. Okay, let's go. Okay, seniors, count it out. One, two, three, choose by that. Choose by that. We just got here at ESPN. Uh, it's so exciting to be here to watch our alumni and give them so much support and love and have a great time. This is our first time being back here since we competed at high school nationals. And it's good for those that are new on the team to see the atmosphere and what it's going to be like. Seeing the mat the first time after last season, I feel like I'm going to be more greedy about getting a hit more than ever. Being here tonight for the kids, it gives them the exposure and preps them for coming back here in the next few weeks. They get to see kind of how warm-ups are going to go, they get to see the stage, they get to see the castle, and they get to have the opportunity to watch, you know, the big team. Justin! Someone who's really special to me is my brother. He cheers at USF. Uh, it's going to be so cool watching him go out there and get that hit. We, we had our first cheer together uh, last year, and now it's going to be so cool to meet back up with him, see how good he's gotten. Can't wait. It, you know, it just it makes me proud. These kids, they come in from something and they don't know really understand cheer and they're like, what, what is this going to offer? Where is this going to take me? And so to see them on that stage and in that platform, it's a proud moment. South Florida. Watching the competition tonight, got my adrenaline pumping. It was intense. I love watching alumni out here hitting their routines and getting executing every skill. Watching my former teammates really motivated me to do my best. I'm feeling so motivated. I can put on the Bartel uniform and get out there right now and give them a show. I feel like I'm ready. You were on that mat last year. You, you're angry. And you want to get back, and you want to say, give me what we really need. For my last time competing, I know I want to make it the best. I want to make sure that everyone comes off that mat happy. What is your work? What is your work? You put in the time. You put in the work. So go out there and do it together. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from?